In this video we will consider creating bar charts in R and we will be making use of the base graphics functions for creating these bar charts. To illustrate creating a bar chart we will use some data from the United Kingdom in 2007 and this information is a record in terms of production in metric tons of the five most important food and agricultural commodities. To create the bar chart, our first stage is to create a data frame with the data that we want to use. Now rather than typing this all out, I will copy it from a script file and then paste those commands into the R window. So here we can see that we're going to save an object, a data frame in this case, by the name of UK2007 by using the data.frame function and we list the various columns of data to appear in the data frame. The first column is the commodity and we turn this into a factor with a particular ordering so that we're ordering from largest production to smallest production and the second data column is the production in thousands of metric tons. So we submit this command and we save an object UK2007 with which we can create the bar chart. In the base graphics package there is a function bar plot which is used to create a bar chart. So here what we will do is we will start off by typing the name of our function bar plot and the first variable is the bar values that we're going to use. So from this data frame UK2007 we use the dollar to indicate that we want to pick out a particular column and in this case we want to pick out the production. So then what we need to do is to use the names argument to specify the names that correspond to these various production values. So again we move into the UK2007 data frame but this time pick out the column commodity which is those list of names given above. So if we submit this command here, we will end up with a histogram where it's picked out some sensible values for the names of the categories, but it hasn't done a great deal more. So what we could do is we'll use the up arrow to go back to our previous command and add, add some other bits of information to the graph. So first of all, we use the xlab argument to specify what we want to appear on the x-axis label. So here is the commodity. Similarly, if we want to label the y-axis, we use the ylab argument, and here we're going to call it production in brackets thousands of metric tons. Last but not least, we can add a main title to a graph using the main argument. So here we'll just call this UK2007 top 5 food and agricultural commodities. So we submit this command, we look at the graph again and we'll see the changes are reasonably straightforward. The x-axis label, the y-axis label and the main title for the graph. 